Oh boy, here we go again. All right guys, so today I've got something for you just a little different to my usual videos. Today I'm actually at an old gold mine. Check this out. This gold mine was opened in 1871 and it was last worked in the mid 1980s. And in its lifetime, it pulled out 350,000 ounces of gold. So, so in about, oh what, 110 years, you know, almost 350,000 ounces of gold. So a lot of the original buildings are still here, as you can see, and over there, it, that's the battery where they used to ground all the quartz and everything into into a fine powder to get the gold out and they are actually quite rare you don't really see a lot of batteries left because they were so valuable they used to take them so yeah we're going to have a look around a lot of these like i said a lot of the original buildings are still here as you can see so and you can get into a few of them there's a few we can't get into like that one over there that one right there we can't get into but we can look in the window so that's really good actually speaking of windows I was going to wander over here and check out what was in here. This was the workshop. So, there we go. This is the workshop. There's actually a hole over there, so I'm going to go and going to go and climb in that hole in a minute. But I thought I'd give you a quick look around in the through the window here. So, but yeah, that's I don't know if if you don't know what that is. That's called a poppet head. Um, I'm not really sure why that was so big, but I think it was for the um, for the so the cables, so they can get longer cables there. So, because this this shaft, within two years, was 450 feet deep. So they they drilled down 450 feet in just on two years. So, so that was pretty amazing stuff, really, when you think about it. So I don't know if I'm going to have to turn the camera off to weed, weed my way through here, but let's let's find out. Oh. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> Can't do this, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're inside now. Um, yeah, I'm not as flexible as I used to be, and yeah, I couldn't do that one-handed, unfortunately. But we're inside now, so. So let's just have a look around. Actually, there was a whole bunch of stuff on the floor here. So I'll sort of just pan over here and see if we can see anything if that's actually interesting Adapt adaptive pump control nah this is all just admin stuff I thought there might be some older stuff but it looks like some of the more recent stuff from over the years yeah. oh there's a big, yeah, big workshop there that we, we can have a look at that's going to be fun just pan over a lot of the, obviously a lot of this stuff's going to be from when it was last used. Yeah, look at this massive big workshop, and there's still a bunch of stuff in here to look at. How cool is this? This is fantastic, guys. So, like I said, but it still hasn't been used in what 43 years it was the last time it was worked. So it's been sitting here for 43 years, doing nothing. So it's kind of like a bit of a time capsule when you really think about it. Even even like stuff from the 1980s, it's far different from what they do these days. Unbelievable stuff. Let's just keep wandering about. Oh, there's an office up there. Like, I actually haven't been in here yet. I just took a quick walk around to make sure there was nobody about. Right, let's come up here. Yeah, and then I started filming. Okay, that's just empty. I won't go in. There's no, no reason to go in there and perhaps fall through that floor. <laughs> But this gives us a good view of from up here. As you can see, there's a bunch of, it's like a, some sort of drill over there. And workbenches, and there's something over there. I think that might be a light, oops, that might be a lathe over there, so. All right, let's, let's work our way back down again.
Let's have a look at this drill. A few lockers over there. Yeah, check this old drill out. Right. Man, that is an old drill. Yeah, I'll just come around here and get a better look at it. From the other side. A bunch of buttons and knobs that I have no idea what they do. So, everybody knows a bit more about that. Alright. Something else over here. Is that maybe a compressor of some description, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly a really old compressor. Right. We got oh, these are just more lockers. Just some more lockers that they've left lying here. Alright, let's have a look at this thing. Yeah, this is definitely some sort of lathe. As you can see there, that, that, that bit would slide backwards and forwards to grab whatever piece of wood or material that they were trying to work. I wonder how old that is. There's a couple of, a couple of little things here. And it doesn't have a date on it. But yeah, I wonder how, so if anybody knows, let me know. Because I'd love to know how old, you know, even, even a ballpark figure of something like this would it would be what, at least 50 years old perhaps? I really don't know. Alright, let's keep looking around. We've got a lot to look at today. Right, and then we've just got this, whatever this is. <laughs> uh, it's some sort of workbench, but it's got a ton of drawers and stuff in it. So, uh, that's very cool. That was the workshop there. All right, guys, that was the workshop. All right, I'm going to extricate myself from this building and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we're going to head off and have a look at this building. This building was like their change rooms and like their, uh, just where they'd hang out and stuff like that. So there's actually, I'll put a picture up in the, at the start of the, if I can find a decent one, actually. Oh, I might not do that. Never mind. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, this was like their change rooms and everything. These are all original buildings, these ones. So let's have a look in here and see what we can see. Right, get that light on. Right, so hey, you can see these are these buildings are pretty much original. They might have had a bit of updating who knows but i know the buildings the outer the outside of the buildings are definitely uh, original but they might have had a fresh coat of paint or something there you go what is that short circuit box fire box fuse box there's a whole bunch of stuff there on the green this looks like a little washroom mate. maybe even the laundry i'm not sure and what's in there Looks like another little, looks like a nest over there. Little birds got in there and made a nest. It looks like just a, like yeah, a workshop. Yeah, all, look at all these, oh, just, oh check this out. <laughs> look at that. That's an old chair. <laughs> That's awesome. Love that. Yeah, I was just gonna say there's a whole, like nuts and bolts and everything on the ground here. Oh, yeah, the, the walls come down here, but I should be able to shimmy underneath. There we go. Alright. Into the next room. Oh, this is so cool in here. Just the history. You can feel the history. It's so, so cool. The amount of people that have come, you know, worked here and through almost 100 and what? Oh, oh math. So 1871. So 160 years almost. I hope my math was right there. Actually, I didn't. I was too busy trying to think of math. And I didn't really look in this room, did I? Anyway. Right. Yeah, almost 160, no, 150, 150-ish years. Sorry, my math was off. <laughs> All right, let's wander up along here. Oh, it's just so cool in here. 
What have we got in here? Oh, it's a dunny. Here you go. There's a toilet. <laughs> that is an old style toilet. Look at that. The flusher up the top there. You don't see that very often. They're all sort of one unit these days. But yeah, that's so cool. Because the water, the, the gravity, gravity makes that flush. Uh, there's some interesting graffiti there. <laughs> we'll just move on from that. Right. Oh yeah, more lockers. But like I said, this is all like their changing rooms and where they'd probably come to eat and stuff like that. Ooh. It's a weird room. Maybe there was lockers along this hall because there's a whole bunch of bed. Oh, there's no key there. A couple of keys. I wonder what they're to. Right, we'll walk down along this way. So I think that other door just led out to where we were. Name your overalls before putting them on. The, I uh, can't read it. Something, the something please. Put them in the, oh, hang on. That's before you put them in the washing, please, maybe. Oh, yep, this is the wash house. Yep. So, looks like, oh, no, it looks like a shower. Oh, check that out. Look at that. That's an old shower. This, wow. <laughs> Didn't have much privacy when you're in the shower. That's amazing. Oh, there's a ton of them. There's tons of them. What's that? Leave my shampoo toothpaste alone. Harley the something. So this was a big, this was a shower unit. Oh, that's so cool. That is so very cool in here. I love it. All right. And this is another, I don't know, maybe a day room. Because why would you have the showers right Yeah, Because you'd have to get changed and stuff. So like I said, this is the change room. So. All right. Work your way out of here. There's actually a, it's actually a bee's nest over there, so I'm going to have to be quick and not disturb them too much, but I just love this poppet here. Just keep getting pictures. Oh, the, the sun's right in the way there. We can't do that. The sun's in the way. All right, someone's kicked this door in, but there was nothing in there. Nothing in there. So I'll just stick the camera in there and give you a bit of a look. All right, we're getting close to the bees here, so... I'm just gonna quickly zip into this room, away from the bees. Oh man, it's so very cool. Oh, there's some, there's a few little Pranus Drive. Commercial lighting category, no, that's not interesting at all. Oh, what's this? The Waddle Gully Project. There you go. All right, let's keep looking around. Looks like a little office. Yep, definitely office. <laughs> There's the old bar heater. And then looks like just a little, yep, just a little storage space. Very good. What's up? What's on the floor here? Alright. Very, very cool stuff. Oh, this is such a fun little spot to be in. I love it. Yeah. Alright, right, we, we're gonna, gonna get away from these bees. It's just gonna be super quick and move away so we don't we don't antagonize those bees. Uh, we can't get into that building, but I th oh, I'm guessing it's some sort of toilet block or something. And we can't get into this one, which, which honestly, it's a bit of a shame. But never mind, but we can look through this window over here. So we're going to check this window out because the reason why it's a bit of a shame is, as you can see in there, not very well, but that's probably a better shot. This is the, the pulley for the, for the poppet head. So this is where they, like they've obviously cut the cables and everything, so it can't move anymore. But yeah, in there, I'm sorry, there's a big tree in the way. Oh, actually, there's a cable right there. No, they haven't cut the cable at all. What am I talking about? There we go, look at that. Yeah, there's the cable right there. 
they lead, that lead up to the poppet. And I'm talking, talking bollocks. That's awesome. I actually didn't notice that until just then. So yeah, that's that's all the cabling and everything. You can sort of see over the back there where they'd be working, all the all the pulleys and everything over there. That's so cool. I love it. All right, guys. There's. I'm gonna. I'm not exactly sure how to get up to the battery and that over there, but I'm gonna go and try and figure it out. Actually, oh, I think that leads over that way. All right, guys, and there is, over in that direction, there's actually an admin building. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for right now, and I'm gonna see what I can find over there, and if I can't get up there, we can definitely get into that admin building. So I'll see you in a moment. Be right back. All right, guys, I was able to find a way up. It's over, just over there. So I might actually walk up to it. I haven't actually been up here yet, so. But I thought I'd give you a quick little panorama of where we are up on top of the hill here. Great, great um, view of the poppet head there. And then down into the, into the working area. All right, guys. Um, yeah, all right, um, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna head up there and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, we made it up. <laughs> it was a bit harder to get up there than I thought, so I needed two hands. So yeah, there it is. And I just had a quick look inside and everything's still in there, so, and we can, and we can go in, so that's awesome. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. So we're over here. I think this is a big water tank. I could have walked out, out there, someone to have put a hole in the fence, but I really don't see the point, and I hate heights, so, <laughs> so, yeah, so we can see that, that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's some sort of water tank or something like that, because there's a, there's a spout you can see going across there, yeah, the, the shed's not in the best condition, as you can see there, so, yeah, we'll definitely not spend too much time in there, but, You've got to see it, it's, it's amazing in there. But first I thought I'd come and have a quick look over here and see what's in here. So folks, right, right in there, see so we're out in the middle of the bush, obviously. Oh, these stairs aren't the best. Oh, this might've been a bad plan. That's right, we made it up. All right, what have we got? Uh, don't know, don't know what this is. Uh, it's some sort of chute. I'll turn the light on for a second. There you go, yeah, that's better. Some sort of chute in here, I don't know. Don't know what this would be. I wonder if that opens up and, no, I couldn't. There was a set of stairs there. Yeah, don't know what that was. Whoa. That scared me half to death. <laughs> This place isn't good. I'm gonna get out of here, guys. Gonna give you a quick look around. And we're going back down again, because yeah, I just went through the floor a little bit. Just there. <laughs> As you can see there. Oh, if I can get the camera on it. Yeah, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> uh, so look at the back here. Turn this light off. And there's the back of the back of the battery. So, all right, guys. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off just really quick, and I'm going to go back down those stairs very quickly. So, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I made it back down again with no problems. So, yeah. Oh, let's have a look at this battery. And like I like I said at the intro, seeing something like this is actually very rare these days because. Because um, they're so expensive, they they generally dismantle a lot of this and take them with them, or sell it off or whatever. But yeah, this is as close as we can get, unfortunately, because they've barred everything off. But like, you can, you can, it's a perfect view just through the bars there. There we go. That's a better shot. There we go. Look at that. Look at all that workings and everything. There'd be people up there. All the all the quartz would be, be coming in and, get, and this, it'd be so noisy in here because it'd be just, every single one of those 
like uh well, whatever they're called <laughs> battery parts it would be pounding away just pound, like a, like a like an engine it'd be so cool just crushing up all the quartz and all the quartz would f fall out of there and come down here where it'd be processed and then they'd they'd sift out all the gold oh it's so cool to be in here and see all this stuff so very cool very cool stuff i just noticed over there there's a hole so i'm gonna wander around that hole and see if i can get in so and we can get a closer look so i'll be right back all right guys yeah we got we got inside how cool is this look at this yeah, well, these boards aren't great, but I want to get closer. So you can see, look, that's that's what I was talking about earlier. All, they would be just pounding and pounding away. There's actually a little bit of quartz still in there. Yeah, and they would pound all the quartz there. The quartz would fall into there. And then it would come down here. Into these troughs. Ooh, oh, hurt my leg. No, never mind. And yeah, it would come down, it would come down there, and then they would sift it all and they would extract the gold. So oh, it's so cool to be in here. Oh, oh, actually just over there, there's actually one that's come out, so you can see the whole workings of it. That's awesome. Right, let's, let's come down here. This is, this is the sifting table. This is where they would sift all the gold out. That is so cool to see. I love it. That is awesome. There you go. That that would actually it would shake. It would shake with a hell of a hell of a racket. So, and then yeah, the, um, all the heavier stuff would be sifted out, and the gold would remain. I hope that's how it works. <laughs> I'm going. Me and my dad used to go prospecting a lot, so that's why I kind of. I kind of love this stuff and yeah, I'm going off old knowledge, so I might be wrong, I might be right, but frankly, I don't care because it's awesome to see <laughs> and I hope you enjoy enjoying it too. I can't get over there. Oh, well, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh yeah, too easy. All right, what's over here? Oh, there's another. That's a something or other. I actually have no idea what that is. I have no idea what that is. Anyway, so if someone knows, let me know. Here's a better shot of it. Oh, there's some stairs up there. That would lead up, up into the second, up the second floor. I'm not going to go climbing up there. That wood, even the wood that I was on just earlier, wasn't. It was a little bit spongy. So, so yeah. I'm not gonna. I've had a, I've had a really good time. I've I've been able to get in here. I've, this is actually my second attempt at getting coming here. When I was here, the first time, there was actually a park ranger here, and I I just explained to him what what I wanted to do, and he's like, dude, look, I if it was up to me, you could go and have a look, but it, but like it's his job's on the line. So I came back when I hoped there was no one around, and there was no one around. So, so very cool. All right, guys, I think I've shown you everything in here. Have one more quick look around to make sure. Very cool stuff. I think I've said cool about a thousand times, but anyone who watches the videos knows that's, that's my word. I say cool a lot because we're, because I go to places I like, so they're gonna be cool to me anyway. Very cool. All right, guys. All right, I'm gonna extricate myself from this building and I'm gonna go and show you that admin building and then I think that's everything. All right, bear it right back. All right, before we go and look at that admin building, I, I realized as I was walking that I didn't give you a close look at the puppet head like an idiot. So here we go. Look at this. Just climb all the way up to the top there and that where it would, all the, um. All the quartz and everything would come out of there and then they'd dump it into big trucks and or whatever they were using at the time and they'd take it up to the the battery up there that we just we were just at oh i thought to myself when i saw this when i saw this i thought am i going to give myself a 
a challenge and try and climb up at least to the first rung but yeah there's bars on it so I can't <laughs> which I'm not unhappy about to be completely honest with you anyway <laughs> so yeah that's all the conveyors where they'd be working down up to 450 feet as I mentioned and then it would convey it all the way up to the top there in into the and then to into the hopper and I think I think that would have been the part of the shaft so actually, there's another thing there oh, it looks like it's yeah it's caved in a bit over there but yeah you could just imagine imagine them those working up and down all day and everyone down and people up at top and everything oh it's so very cool I love it I absolutely love it all right well there's some stuff over here I'm not really sure what it is might even be a, an old mining cart even that they've hauled back up to the surface I'm not sure because it's got a it's got the, like a, a shovel type attachment on it and it's got wheels so I don't know don't know what that is but anyway oh there's some mining regulations over here I wonder let's have a look at that I didn't read any of it stop in motion signal no, if you if you want to pause the video and have a read of that that's pretty cool that sort of tells you what they're up to there's a Now that looks like newer, some sort of power to something. Power to something up there, all the way up there. Oh, so very cool, very very cool. All right, guys, sorry about. Sorry, yeah, sorry I didn't give you a closer look at that earlier, but yeah, kind of overwhelmed by everything here. It's it's really awesome. All right, guys, I'll see you at the admin building. Be right back. All right, here we are up at the admin building. You can see over there, that's where we just were. Just ran into a few kids there that were having a look around. Hopefully they don't break anything. But yeah, this is it's, this is a very old homesteady. As you can see there. Very homesteady. I should have probably got some a picture from down below. I might do that on the way out. And throw it up about here. Anyway. All right, so we'll walk around and see if we can find a way in. So, uh, let's have a look at the, oh, the sheds open. Oh yeah, here we go. So we might have a quick look in the shed first. Let's see what's in here. Oh, oh sorry. So it's that light on. Anyway. Not too much in there. Oh, oh, speak. Look at that. Look at that big old copy machine. Wow. That is massive. Big old photocopier in there. How cool is that? That just shows you <laughs> that this was definitely an admin building, but yeah, someone's brought that out here and just left it there. Very cool. And there's just bunches of stuff there. Oh yeah, there's actually a folder here. Work my way around and have a bit of a... How to use the cookbook. I have no idea what any of that is. <laughs> anyway. Alright, there's an open door there, so... Let's have a look inside. Haven't been in here either. So we're doing this together again. I like to do that these days. Have a quick look around, yell out a bit, make sure there's no one around. And yeah, those kids sort of turned up just as I was leaving to come over here actually. So they were just like 10, 12 year olds. So they might be up to some mischief, I don't know, but I asked them, to, I asked them not to break anything. So that's all I can do. All right, this just this looks like, oh, whoa. Check all that out. That must have been for, for the computers. Actually, I think there's some old network cards in there. I think they might be old network cards. 
Don't know for sure. Oh, if I get in shot, geez. Sorry, guys. Yeah. There we go. Right, just check out some of these old rooms. Old style air conditioner. Yeah, yeah, there's just empty rooms for the most part. But a good little conclusion to what I think is an awesome video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I enjoyed making it because I love I love this stuff. Like I said, me and my dad, we used to go prospecting all the time in my when I was quite young. So he's no longer with us, but yeah, he still instilled that interest in in gold mining and everything in me. So yeah, awesome stuff. Little room here. newer air conditioner <laughs> and then this last room all right guys all right that's gonna do it all right another longish video but i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did making it i said yeah sounds like those kids are coming up here to have a bit of a look around so yeah we're gonna end this video thank you for watching thank you to all our patrons you guys are the absolute best thank you to all the youtube members remember it's only three dollars a month so if, if you like the videos, think about doing that. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.